It is often easier to simulate exterior lighting using the MR render. It is also more physically accurate than the scanline render. When you plan to use the mental ray render, use the custom UI and default switcher to load a mental ray scheme. If you are using 3ds Max Design, the Design Viz mental ray initial settings are loaded by default. If you want, you can load up a color UI scheme as well. Loading a mental ray setup ensures that newly created materials and lights use parameters favored by the mental ray renderer. Also, and in order to ensure accuracy, check that your geometry is built to scale. In the rendering dialog, ensure that the loaded rendering engine is the mental ray renderer. It is usually better for mental ray rendering to use MR based materials in the scene, such as Arc and Design and Pro materials. If you have already created your materials using other means, convert them to MR based materials before going any farther. Typically, the sun is represented by direct light. If only a direct light is used, the end result is not much different from the scanline renderer. In fact, Final Gather is already calculating the light bounces, but at this point there aren't many surfaces for the lights to bounce off of. If you add a skylight object to the scene, the results are much improved. Keep in mind that for the skylight object to work in Mental Ray, Final Gather must be enabled. By default, the skylight color is set to light gray, but you can choose another color. Better yet, use a map to simulate image-based lighting. For best results, use panorama images wrapped in spherical mapping. HDR, high dynamic range images, work best as light and reflection maps but LDR, low dynamic range images like JPEGs, are also acceptable. Typically though, it is much easier to set exterior lighting inventory using the daylight system. Instead of creating direct lights and skylights, you only need to create a daylight system in the scene. The daylight system is invoked from the systems panel. You get prompted to use exposure control. Exposure control lets you adjust brightness and contrast among other compensation parameters. Click and drag to place a compass rose. Then get prompted to use the MR Physical Sky Background. Answer yes to that prompt. This background type uses an HDR based gradient used for reflection and changes color based on the time of day. Move the mouse and click again to define the orbital scale or sun height. You can then make other adjustments such as geographic location, time of day and north direction. Because you are using mental ray rendering, ensure you are using MR Sun and Sky options in the Modify panel. These options are on by default if you set a mental ray UI scheme in the custom UI default switcher. As you render the scene, notice how direct and indirect lighting is being calculated based on a single daylight object. In the Environment dialog, you can render a preview and make adjustments to your render. You can edit Exposure Value, EV,
but also shutter speed, aperture, film speed, and color correction. As mentioned before, the background is based on an HDR gradient that changes color based on the time of day. At 9 a.m., the sky shows a nice blue gradient. At 7 p.m., 1900 hours, and after compensating for exposure, the sky shows an orange-like tint representing dusk.